is this a motorized vehicle or a bicycle? When it comes to electric bikes, it depends who you ask. Sven Peterson sells e-bikes for a living. It's a bicycle with power assist. Bob Shirelli is Ontario's Minister of Transportation. It's considered uh, a motor vehicle under the uh, criminal code. Uh, it's not considered a motor vehicle under the uh, Highway Traffic Act, and uh, that probably needs some rectification. The discrepancy has real implications when it comes to impaired driving. Toronto police don't keep specific stats on it, but this year have charged a number of e-bike drivers with being drunk. An e-bike, although you were impaired while operating it, once you're sober, you can then continue to operate that vehicle because there is no license required by law for you to operate an e-bike. Even though federal law says you can't drink and drive an e-bike, the province can't take it away or forbid you from using it because it's technically a bicycle. I think that e-bike drivers need licenses. Um, that's something that could be considered. That'll employ more bureaucrats. Absolutely. Whether it'll do any good or not, I don't know. There are some rules that are specific to e-bikes. For example, you have to be over 16 years of age to drive one. You have to be wearing a helmet. The bike can't go more than 32 kilometers an hour. And most importantly, it has to have pedals. If you take those pedals off, now there's no other way to power it except by uh, the electric motor, which now by definition, permanently makes it a motor vehicle. Bottom line, even though the province says this is a bike, it doesn't treat it that way.